Hollywood on the lake, it's class F and these are convertibles for a grand entrance at Villa Deste. And now we're upping the tempo. 1945 supercars, the switches of what looks like a wooden dashboard, but it is in fact steel with a photograph of dashboard applied on top of it. The weather? Hand painted, in fact. Hand painted, I stand. You'll see that it has this wonderful aircraft inspired cockpit with an array of chrome switches and what looks like a wooden dashboard, but it is in fact steel with a photograph of dashboard applied on top of it. Hand painted. How low can you go? Now look at this. Picture the scene, the 1952 Milanilia, the, the famous round Italy race that every young red-blooded Italian wants to take part in. It's a mobile showpiece for Italian... The, the younger to be exact and uh, we crossed the channel and the first of our Ferraris today is the Ferrari 212 Export Cabriolet by V. I thought 
Steve Tillack in the 1956-1960 Alfa Romeo 6C 3000 Super Flow 4. How's that, how's that for a name? Now that's, now that's what 16 cylinders sounds like. What a machine. Now we're a Pebble Beach una delle quattro vetture se ricordo bene costruite con questa carrozzeria una delle star tra l'altro del salone di Ginevra del 55 Spider, what a car! Now that is quite impressive. Now, if a California Spider was a little bit too racy for you back in the late 1950s and you wanted more in the way of creature comforts, this is Paul Lupo from Belgium showing us his 1956 Ferrari 250 GT. Bienvenue à Villeneuve. Now here's another what if. You've all seen the Mercedes-Benz Pagoda sports cars of the 1960s, the 230, 250 and so on. But you probably haven't seen this. When the 230 first came out in the early 60s in uh, Geneva in about 63, quite a few people said mm, it's a little bit square-shouldered, it's a little bit straight. And they weren't all convinced about the Pagoda. Oh. La vettura che fu mostrata al Salone di Parigi nel 1964 è esattamente uno dei design trademarks of that particular car. And so Pini Farina took one of the cars and did their own interpretation on the 230SL chassis. This is what... I would have wanted to be at the wheel and much less the passenger doing 170 in a Maserati 5000 GT. Oh sorry, it was Joe Walsh, Winston's telling me, that's the name of the singer.
But talking of actors, this next car was purchased new by one of the most... But talking of actors, this next car was purchased new by one of the most iconic actors. Let's, uh, let's hope it does rain. Now the last car in... anywhere else because there's only one of them in the world. Peter Newmar with the Jaguar XK120 SE Coupe by Pinning Sarina, the American hybrid, also known as described by Carl Life in 1961 as the... Now, that was an absolute classic of... And now the jet age has arrived. Look at this, the 1953 Lancia Aurelia B52. We don't know if it's a coincidence that it bears the same name as a famous jet. We don't know if it's a coincidence that it bears the same name as a famous jet plane. There's no mistaking the influence. <laughs> Everyone loves the Mercedes uh, 300 SL going, and as you see, the going doors. Going doors, why?